GLIS stands for Ground Level Integrated Diverse Energy Storage. Here at the lab, um, about one and a half year ago, we come up with a novel idea to store electricity mechanically in the form of compressing uh, gas, compressing air in this uh, case. It took us about nine months to one year from uh, the time it was an idea on paper to get it all built and operating. Uh, we spent a lot of time uh, looking for components, uh, refining the design, uh, working on our operating uh, procedures, uh, making sure we incorporated the uh, safety measure we could, and uh, didn't leave anything to chance. In order to compress gas, we are not uh, using any compressor. We are using a uh, pump, hydraulic pump, to compress gas, actually displacing the, 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 the water inside high pressure vessels and just compressing the gas. Since the efficiency of pumps are significantly higher than, com than compressors, they can achieve to much higher uh, round trip efficiency with this uh, novel technology. And we actually predict a round trip efficiency anywhere from about 70% to about 85%, which is huge because that's actually competitive and even better than the current existing technology for buildings, which is lead acid batteries. The heart of the system are those uh, high pressure vessels, the orange vessels that you see um, uh, behind me. Uh, so when we initially charge those with high pressure air, let's say at 70 bar. Now, let's say at during the daytime or when you have low, low, low cost electricity available, you use a pulse displacement pump to pump water into those high pressure vessels. So as the water level keeps going up in those vessels, it squeezes the air on top of them. So actually you are storing energy in form of high pressure gas, and that is how we do the storage. Whenever you need electricity, let's say at the, uh, at the evening or at the beginning of the night, uh, you want to dis discharge electricity or dispatch electricity. What you do is that right now you have a high high head water sitting in, in those high pressure vessels, you pass it through a, you open a valve, you pass it through a custom high head low flow rate uh, Pelton turbine, it rotates and uh, rotate uh, or spin a generator and generate electricity as well. So one of the most important components of the glide system is actually the Pelton turbine and uh, we were uh, thankfully able to leverage the additive manufacturing and 3D printing expertise here at the lab to custom create these uh, Pelton turbines buckets which are actually the, the smallest, the world's smallest 3D printed Pelton turbine bucket. So conventional Pelton turbines operate more around the 500 meters of pressure head range but with our system we have pressures way higher than that, more around the 1.5 to 2 kilometers of pressure head and very low flow rates. So because of that, we had to go away from the conventional design and, and custom design this in-house. It's amazing. It works and it generates energy. The idea is excellent, so I'm very happy to be here.